Miss Kamla, hey! Hi, welcome to Harris Road. Thank you. Are you ready for our 34 rapid fire questions today? I think so. Here we go. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about being Teacher of the Year finalist right now? Oh, beyond 10. So excited. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Hashtag empathetic. What's your hometown? Huntersville, North Carolina. How many years have you taught? This is my 20th year. If you could bring anyone as a surprise guest to your classroom tomorrow, who would it be? Probably Alan Gratz, the young adult author. If your teacher life was a musical, what would the marquee say? <laughs> Ready for spring break. <laughs> what is one thing your students don't know about you? That I am a terrible cook. What is one thing people don't know about your students? That they are the very best students in Cabarrus County. Assigned seating or flexible seating? Flexible seating. Who is a teacher you remember and why? Mrs. Winkle, fifth grade. Um, she used to let us write for fun on Fridays and that was the first time that I ever saw myself as a writer. What are three things you can't live without in your classroom? Oh, canvas, um, global read-alouds, and collaborative sticky notes. What's something you repeat daily to your class? You matter. What's your biggest accomplishment in time? So far, being a mother. In-person meeting or virtual meetings? In-person meetings. Favorite teaching learning app? Canvas. Secret talent? Mmm, definitely not cooking. Probably, I'm a pretty good artist. What's inspiring you in life right now? Inspiring me in life right now is probably Netflix. <laughs> How did you feel when you found out you were selected as Teacher of the Year finalist? Humbled and very honored. What's the best piece of advice you've received as a teacher? To be flexible. Every day there will be a challenge, but sometimes in the challenge is the greatest opportunity for learning. And what would you like to be remembered for? Probably being a good teacher and a good mother. How do you define success? I define success as helping my students to find their success, helping them to find their why. When they feel accomplished and feel like they've gotten it, then I feel successful. And what do you love most about teaching? The relationships that I get to build with students. If you could have a wild animal as a pet, what would it be? Ooh, maybe a llama. What's your favorite color? Yellow. Least favorite color? Brown. Coffee, tea, or water? Water. Independent work or collaboration? Definitely collaboration. Pencil or pen? Pencil. Teacher duty or grading papers? Um, teacher duty. A skill you're working on mastering? Right now, probably cooking. Best compliment you've ever received by a student? Mrs. Kuma, you made a difference in my life. What's something you did not expect or nobody told you about teaching? I think it would be that every day is going to present challenges and it's important to take those challenges and turn them into opportunities. Can you finish a sentence for me? Yes. Public education of the future looks like? Hopeful, collaboration, global. And very last question, are you ready? Ready. What makes a good teacher great? I think it's the balance. Being able to provide routines and structures and predictability for your students while still knowing when is the time to take risks in the classroom and mix it up a little bit. Wow, that's amazing. So those were our 34 questions. You did it. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel relieved. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Have a great Friday. Thank you. You too.